Hey there, I am here with your tarot reading for the week of September 25th. Now, if you are seeing this video after that week, or in the middle of the week, no worries. You are finding this video exactly when you are meant to, and it is my intention that whatever is in this video serves you at the time that you need it. So let's see what we get today for our weekly reading. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. We have the world reversed, the magician upright, the nine of wands upright, and the five of swords upright. Before I dive into the interpretation of these cards, just a heads up that I'm running on about half a night of sleep. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try my best to put words together and we'll see what happens. Um, it looks to me like you are facing some sort of challenge when it comes to your work. Um, and what it's looking like to me is that there's this big, big project that you have been working on for a while and that finishing this project means something really big for you. Like it's closing out something really major and really like is gonna give you this massive sense of like relief and completion. However, there is something, there's something that's kind of getting in the way. Um, and judging by these two cards, there's something that is like intimidating you um, or kind of putting you on the defensive when it comes to finishing this project. And it could be like you're worried about what other people are going to think of you. Um, like, is this project going to be good enough? Is it, you know, kind of being worried about, is it going to get you the results that you want? Um, and, you know, it could be that in whatever realm you have this work going on, um, that maybe at times in the past, your work was not acknowledged in the way that you feel it should be. And what's telling me that is if you look at these these two cards right here the um the nine of wands and the five of swords both of them are looking to the left um which is the past right they're looking to the past um and this guy's kind of looking behind him as well and so you know this guy in the nine of wands, basically he's like, I've set up all my stuff. Like I've taken care of my shit. I've made sure I've done what I'm supposed to do and I am going to defend my work. And don't fuck with me. And this guy right here is I think reminding you to be careful that whatever it is that you're going to complete and achieve, that you do not do it at the expense of others. Because if you do that, it will come back to bite you. Um, so really make sure that you are fully aligned in your work. Now, this guy in the middle, the magician, is here to remind you that you have everything you need. All right. You can see him reaching up to the universe. There is this connection 
there is this infinite connection. And not only that, but he has all the tools that we see in tarot, the pentacles, the cups, the wands, the swords, he has them all. All right, you have everything you need. You have the divine connection and you have the creative power to really close out this project and close out whatever this project is a bigger part of in a really big and powerful way. Don't let your own fear about what other people are going to think of you or your own defensiveness or whatever that is get in the way of that. All right. So if you are journaling on this for shadow work this week, here are some questions to ask yourself. So number one, I would ask yourself, what is it that feels like it's blocking you or threatening you or intimidating you from finishing out this work that you really need to get done? And I think there is also like when we have defensiveness or when we feel threatened, it comes from a place of not trusting yourself. Right? It's not necessarily the other person's problem that's making you defensive. It is your lack of self-trust or your lack of confidence in your own abilities. So I would ask, what is getting in the way of that self-trust or that self-confidence? Um, and with that, what are the underlying stories driving the bus here? And more importantly, surprise, surprise, where do those stories come from? Getting this work done, whatever, whatever it is, is really essential. And so in order to overcome the block, you are going to need to heal those stories which are driving the bus. You're going to have to find the confidence and the trust in yourself to do what it is that you need to do. So then I would also ask yourself, what do you need in order to heal these stories? Chances are, if you are like most people, you may need some support. It, it can be really, really hard to figure out the underlying stories on your own. Um, and it really, it really can be helpful to have someone on the outside who can zoom out and look at things big picture there to support you, to help you identify those stories and then heal through them. And so you're going to need someone who understands how to heal through these stories. Okay. So with that, a therapist or a coach is someone great. If you have a, a spiritual support that you use to work through shadow work, that is great. And if you don't, you know, I am, I am here for you and I am happy to support you in that regard. Um, you can just reach out to me. All right. But either way, um, you are capable of doing this work. And when you do it, great things are going to happen for you. They really are. It's just about overcoming those blocks, building the self-trust, letting go of the defensiveness. And you got this, all right? I'm here for you. Have a great week whenever you are seeing this.